Hello YouTubers. Uh, I was looking for a video on YouTube about this uh, a few days ago and I couldn't find one so I had to work it out for myself and then I thought well I'd put a, I'll put a, a little video up for other people who are looking at the Enfold WordPress theme, this is it, and specifically how to create what you can see on screen now which is a portfolio. It's a nice looking nice feel way to bring together a number of different elements from your business service into a visually pleasing uh, experience for users so I've got six portfolio panels here as you can see and what happens is that they're made up of an image and a title under each one you don't have to title them but I I have and then if I click on it on one of them it takes me through to uh, a portfolio page and that's where I can put more detail about that particular item but let me go back and show you how this is done first of all we're in the admin area here and you want to look for this tab called portfolio items and click on that and you can see in here I've got one two three four five six portfolio items and in the portfolio menu it's got add new tags and categories you can see in the center here that um, the cat under categories that each one of these is categorized under CSS and I'll show you what that means in a minute I haven't tagged them yet but that's something that I need to do in in this column right here is apply some tags to them for SEO value apart from anything else so if I go to add new portfolio item here it looks like pretty much like a post or a page on WordPress but um, I'll just put in a title for my portfolio entry right here just call it new title and I'm not going to put anything here in the uh, in the main um, editing box at the moment um, if I come over to the right hand side for a minute you can see there's a sidebar here called portfolio categories and I'm just going to click CSS at the moment that means that all the items if I go back to the home page all the items here get clustered around the same category basically now if I if I had two categories say I had CSS and I had photography I could put a little menu up here that said CSS and photography and if I clicked on photography then this portfolio screen would only show the elements that were tagged as belonging to the photography uh, portfolio similarly if I clicked CSS uh, the photography elements would disappear and only the elements that belong to the CSS category would appear so that's that's how categories basically work but the biggest problem I had was working out how to get these photos or these images to appear uh, and it's it took me quite a while I tried adding media here which is what you'd normally do to include an element in the main uh, editing box and that didn't work anyway in the end I worked out that it's all the way down here on the right bottom right this box sidebar box called featured image and you you click in there and you pick from your media library or you upload a new file and um, it will actually appear uh, right here so let let me pick that this image and you can see now that the image has, has appeared as the featured image and it's really if you don't know it actually quite quite frustrating trying to find out how that works and where that goes so if now I publish uh, this entry which just to remind you I could tag it in this box here and I need to assign it to a portfolio category or more than one 
And if I, if I published this and I went back to my homepage, I'd find an additional portfolio box attached to this cluster of six elements. Um, now, if I, if I just um, go back a minute to portfolio items and I click in one that I've already created. So what you can see here is what appears when you click on the portfolio uh, the front the front screen uh, from the home page this is the the detail information that appears in the portfolio element page so that's where that goes down here in the bottom right you can see is the featured image that I talked about uh, there's nothing in this bottom half of the page um, and the title of the uh, portfolio entry, email marketing, if I just go back again to the home page, that's what appears underneath the portfolio image right here. So that is the portfolio um, entry title. That's where it appears. So that's how you set up your portfolio items on a page. Uh, it's a lovely looking feature in Enfold and I hope that's of uh, value to you if you're uh, setting up a WP theme with Enfold using portfolios. That's it. See you again. Bye.